Hey, Shoei, a rule for drivers of certain modified cars goes into full effect today. Cars or trucks with the front or rear fenders lifted four or more inches higher than the other can no longer be on the roads. This car modification is called the Carolina Squat. Starting today, if the cars or trucks are not returned to normal, these drivers can see penalties of up to a $300 fine and the possibility of losing their license for a year. Our Tiana Maxwell is live in Somerville where she spoke at a uh, spoke to a local auto shop owner. So Tiana, what did they have to say about getting rid of the Carolina squat? Shelby Katie, since the law's passing in November, drivers of squatted vehicles only received warnings from local authorities. That grace period ends today with those drivers needing to unsquat their cars. Auto shops like this one on 5th North Street can help make your car legal again. Since in November of last year, it became illegal to drive squatted vehicles with the front or back fenders raised four or more inches higher than the other side. Local authorities say this car modification is dangerous for other drivers, especially motorcyclists, bikers and pedestrians. The high front leaves the drivers unable to see what's in front of them. I spoke with Victor Marlins, who is the service manager of Somerville Auto Center. Marlins tells me that while three inches in the front or the back of the vehicle isn't too bad with safety, it's the seven to nine inches that can pose a problem. Problem. If you lower the back too much and you put a uh, seven to nine inches up front, um, you'll be riding up there, looking up in the air. You won't really have a uh, 20 yard clearance what is, of what is in front of you, and that could be a safety hazard, in my opinion. Um, you really have to watch out for your surroundings. Um, you know, children, pedestrians, the vehicles around you, you really have to be very cautious when you go that extreme. Local authorities say crashes involving these vehicles are disastrous, leaving people seriously injured. Authorities say just like any state law, the goal is to increase safety for everyone on the roadways. In the next hour, I'll tell you how you can make your car legal again. In Somerville, Tiana Maxwell, Life 5 News.